Oh, now what's up with the YouTube? This is TK with Cuts by Kelly. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a, a drop fade. Um, so if you like this content, man, hit the like button. If you are learning something, um, hit the subscribe button as well. And then if you got any questions or concerns about what I'm doing, just leave that in the comments, and I try to get back to to everybody. So um, I just get back with you and you know try to answer those questions for you but in this in this video like i said we're doing a drop fade and we're gonna kind of leave it dark at the top part which um i think that's gonna be like a, a one and a half with the grain so that's what we're gonna be doing to fade into and it's gonna be bald at the bottom so like i said if you like it man, hit the subscribe button hit the like button as well but you see i'm using my my number two guard and i'm just knocking down all that bulk here I'm about to set my my ball line so you know we we drop it down in the back lower than the um occipital bone I I say it's probably like an inch under that when I'm setting my bottom line for my drop fades and then here if you're not pulling the, the ear down to set your, your bottom line then it's too high so that's just a rule of thumb to, so you can keep your fade low so I'm setting my ball line first Now that I got my ball line established, now I'm just going to follow that same path and go with all the way open, no guard. And I'm like, I guess a half an inch going up. So all the way open, no guard, a halfway up, um, a half an inch up, I mean. And you can see I'm just setting my, my next line. So here's my one guard. I got it all the way open. I'm setting my my top line, my final guideline. So I have that a half an inch up as well. So I'm starting from the bottom, ball, and I'm a half an inch up, all the way open, no guard. And then here I have my my one guard, and I'm setting that guideline at the top. Now you can set it in hard. That way you can really see each level just now I didn't set it as hard because I didn't want to have to spend so much time trying to um, clean it up but you can set it harder if you want to just so you can know where you're at but from that middle line I got my zero guard on and I'm closed right now in the fading process I'm gonna leave a link um, up here in the video so you can see what I'm talking about but I just go close quarter three quarters and open so right here on this fading process I didn't edit nothing you're gonna see me do the whole process from start to finish and you'll see how it come out it come out pretty good even though I didn't do too much cleanup One thing I say keep in mind as you're going through this process, just go over each section like two or three times. I always say it, just make like two or three passes back and forth to make sure you have that section cut. Because if you go over it one time, it ain't cutting that much hair, so just go over it two or three times to make sure that section is cut. And that will allow you to have less cleanup at the end. So. When I have it closed, I go over it like two or three times and I go to quarter of the way open. I go like two or three times. Then the same thing with three quarters or 75% open. And then once I open the blade all the way up, I do that like two or three times back and forth. That just allows me to have an easier time to, 
checking my spots at the end. Right now I did everything as far as with the zero guard. I did close quarter, three quarters and open. Now I'm going with my one guard that I started at the beginning. And you can see I'm picking at that top line with the corner of my clipper. Because like I said, I established um, the highest point of my fade at the beginning when I set that, that guideline at the top. But now I want to take that out. I can't leave that there so I got to fade that out, blend that out into the top, um, to the, the hair on top. So now that I, I got that done towards the top, I'm gonna come back at the bottom with no guard, and now I'm going close, quarter, three quarters, then open. And when I finish at open, it's gonna be right at the middle guideline that I started at the beginning. So I say it over and over, the process is easy. And I, I this is what I do on all my fades. It just makes it easy for me. I don't have to guess where I'm at in the fade, and then also, um, if somebody new comes in my chair, it's still the same process, it's just different head textures. But it's still the same thing. So you can see me, I just focus right there on that front part and the blend is, is coming together. So, like I said, if, if you do the, the steps and do the process, it, it really works, at least in my opinion. repeating the steps back here I'm going close then I'm gonna open up the the blade 25% away that's what I did just then then I'm gonna open it up 75% of the way which is three quarters and then I'm gonna open it all the way up and once I open it all the way up that's gonna meet the blend that we already did on top with the guard and just use the corner of your clippers. Um, sometimes I put the full blade on there, but mostly I'm using the corner because it just leaves for less work. When, like I said, the, the name of the game is tr um, trying to get the best cut with less time. That way you can get more clients in. Um, but, you know, you don't want to make it hard on yourself by leaving hard, harsh lines all over the blend. So I use the corner of the clipper a lot just so I don't leave so many harsh lines and then that allows me when I go around to clean it up, there's not too many spots I have to check. Hopefully you can see what I see right now. The, the blend is coming together. And like I said, I didn't chop this part up at all. I did from start to finish of the blend. And so you can see, at least to me, it looks pretty good. So after I do this, then I will line them up. And then I, that's when I will go back and check for spots because I got to get my eyes at rest from looking at the blend all this time. So. I'll go line them up and then I will go back and check my um the fade for spots. fade 
pretty much coming together. Right now I'm about to line them up. I don't know what was going on with my camera. Um, on here, I just wind up turning around and looking at the screen and and I don't even know what was happening. But anyway, I'm gonna line them up and then I'm gonna go back and do a spot check. So here I am with the spot check. For this part right here, it's simple. You just remember um, at the beginning you were setting all your guidelines. So you just go through there and clean up any spots. If you need to put your guard on, you know what guard you had in a certain area at the beginning. Just put that guard back on and clean up the spot. If it ain't coming out, then just go to a lower um, level, a, a lower notch, and just take the spots out. You only can take out what you see, so if you don't see it, don't don't frustrate yourself over it. It's gonna come in time. So we come into the end of this video. If you're still here, I appreciate you. Man, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like this content and if you're learning something. Also, leave a comment be below if you have any questions or concerns. But this is the before, and we see how you came in, and we're going to see the after. So this is the after. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments, or questions or concerns leave that in the comment section I'll try to get back with you but this is TK with cuts by Kelly and I appreciate you